Hello everyone, welcome back for the second video tutorial. So in the previous video, we show you how to register for Vex library, how to add it into your playgrounds, projects, editors, and for local developments. I'll show you that um, in order to do that, you have to open terminals and install it using these commands, and then you should be able to register from it. Now, unlike playground, you have to be careful a bit about um, the option of the parts. If you use playground, make sure that you have related related part scheme. But for local development, you just reference to the name of the VEX. That's good enough. Now, the next step that we have to perform is to actually create the. Uh, after we have registered for this, the next step is we have to create the store. Okay, so in order to create the store objects, we need to go ahead and I think it's a good idea to create the new folder. So in this case, in playground, what you could do is you can go ahead and say create add folders and select. Um, you can say store. Now same thing if you do this in local machine here, um, you can simply go to over this application folders and then select this and put store. Now inside this select list, now I'm going to show you first in playground. Um, you're going to need to add the new JavaScript file. So go ahead and add JavaScript file here. I'm going to, to call this as the um, card.js. Alright. Now um, inside this card.js, okay, um, you're going to need to do this. If you follow the step here, they say that the first thing is you have to register for the web component in this card.js again. So if you go back to this, this is the code that we use so that we can register for the web. So you can do the same thing here for your uh, stock component here that is called card. So go ahead and copy it from here and we just need these three things. So we need the V components, we need the VEX from here, and we need the uh, to register for the VEX over here. Now, once this registration is done, the next step is we're going to need to go ahead and um, create the store objects. Okay, I'm going to call it as, um, let's call it as store number one. So I'm going to say constant um, store one is basically equal to the new objects. And then these objects have two sections called stage and mutations. We talk about this later. And after we have created these objects, we're gonna need to register this store, okay, with the Vex. So the command that we use over here is to say um, this. Okay, so I'm going to copy this for you and put it right here. So as you can see that uh, we use the object vex, okay, and call the function store. We pass these objects as the input. And that would give us our central data store management object. And inside playground, what you need to do is you're going to have to export this module so that you can reference from other components. So export. Well, how about this? Make card objects become um, available to other um, components in the applications. Now, if you are using playground, playground way is you say module dot exports. Okay, let me double check here. It's going to be module dot exports. So it's going to be module dot export equal to that objects itself here okay so that's the playground way I'm going to show you also when you do this in local development okay now speaking of the store objects so we have two information section the first section is called stage okay this is the um, the location that we actually store our data just like in data section so we go ahead and put stage, okay? So right here, you're gonna have to put the uh, state sections, and the state section is um, 
let me take a look at the reference one more time the stage should be without s okay so just to double check so we have stage and I'm going to put one variable let's call it data1 equal to initially equal to 1 so this section okay just like data section so this is used to store um, any data centrally and we can have access to this data from other model as well I'll show you later now another section okay we're gonna come back and then um, look at this together we call mutations all right so now we are going to do this in local development machine because I'm gonna have to show you in em emulators so now what I need to do is before that uh, okay how about this let me copy this and then I go to my local development machines um, imagine that whenever you develop this with playgrounds okay with your mobile device you don't have to worry about switching back and forth between playgrounds and local developments okay the reason I do this is because I have to show you the emulators okay alright so let me go to my local development here and now my store is empty right so I'm go ahead and create a new file called card.js and then control V now I like there are two things that you need to make um, changes the first thing is that uh, I like playground um, when when whenever you refer to any components you need to look at the parts related part but for local developments you can ignore this this one and also the second place that you have to make modification is that this is for playground whenever you do this for local developments you're gonna need to say export default and then put cards okay so that is the way that we make this one become available to our other components and I'm gonna say that this is what we call local developments using CLI okay so unlike playground you need this okay but for local developments this is the default so whenever you work with playground here you can just keep this but whenever you go for local developments you can comment this and then use this instead alright now once you already have um, a store that support a single data here you also have to register this store in your applications component here so go ahead and both of this should be done like this for playground you can go to your app.js and then you come down right here you go to uh, the object of this and then you create another section called store and then you say you want to reference to the card so you put card but now as you can see that card is not available you have to bring it in so go ahead and bring in import cards from now the playground way so as you can see uh, you're gonna need to refer to right now we are in um, the app.js which is inside this app folder you're gonna have to go to this subfolder here and then you can reference to cart so we say dot slash and then select store slash cart okay so same thing go for local development here so let me go back to local developments and we're gonna need to go to app.js and then import our card component that we just created here in the store folder so we say import a card form okay slash store slash card now when you work with um, things that, that is not like the plugin library you can see that plugin library here for local development doesn't have to use the part things but for your local module local script you also still need to use the part like this okay just like in playground now once you register for the card go ahead and add another section called store and we put card okay 
save it. Now um, <clears throat> I'm going to now have my store. The next step is I'm going to show you that now whenever you develop the application, we're going to put the display part that show that data value and this button is used in order to increment the values and this one is to document the values and you can see that the value for this display automatically adjusts based on our actions below. So now I'm going to show you this. So in order to show you for this, now we already have made uh, the component available just to make quick review for what we have done so far. So we uh, go to the app.js and we register for Rex and we um, tell V that we want to use Rex as central management library using line number 8 and then we went to the application folder create the folder called store then create um, a new script called cart.js do the same thing for registration of Rex and we create um, an object Okay, in this case, the objects have one section called stage. Inside this is the object as well, and this is the location that we put variable decalations. Now, once we have the objects, so you can imagine that these objects can be used to store the data. So we register this object with the Rex, and the output of this is going to be our data store. Data store is like uh, central components that you can store the data and for local developments this is the statement that you can make that this object become available but if you use this for playground please use this line number 14 okay and comment this and once this um, data store is finished we tell the app component that hey we want to use this card this component as data store so that's why we import this on line number seven and then uh, we say hey could you please use that card objects as the data store central store okay we are done with this the next step is I'm going to add <clears throat> the display part so that we can show um, the data from here so I want to show the contents of data one how this is possible, let, uh, let's take a look at this in the next video tutorial. Thank you.